Happy days to everybody. And today we have Evelyn Lozada, and I'm so excited that you're here today. How are you? I'm doing well. I am doing really good. It's really hot in LA. I've been at a lot of sports games, but it's summertime. The world is open. We're happy. And, and I don't know. I just feel like it, this is a summer for everybody to just like really enjoy themselves. Right. So um, we're excited. I'm not complaining about being outside in the heat. I'm just happy I'm outside. Oh, I, I completely agree. It's been uh, it's been a long time since we've gotten to really genuinely enjoy all of this. Yeah. So, I mean, and then on top of it, I mean, you, you I want to say that you have free time now, but I mean, in all honesty, you are a busy, busy woman. But the beginning of June, you announced that you were departing from Basketball Wise from uh, VH1. And yes. um, after nine seasons, I mean, I wow, what a big life change. It, you know, it was time. I, I love the show. I love the franchise. And I know sometimes it's not always the positive. It's not always positive because crazy things happen filming reality TV, but I don't know. I just felt in my spirit, in my soul, like this just doesn't feel good anymore. You know, even, even the last couple of seasons, I was conflicted just when things just happen on the show. And you never know what's going to happen. I always tell people, listen, I'm not an actress. We really film these scenes. You know, yes, the producers set up dinners and lunches, but what we talk about is what we talk about. So, you know, years, many years ago at the top, when we started Basketball Wives, I didn't really have a conscience about like what happened, what we did. We're just doing great TV. Who cares? Drama sells. But I don't know, I'm older and my son's getting older and, and, and he just turned seven. And I just felt like I want to I really want to focus on things that feed my soul and that are more positive and, and just wanting to elevate and open up a whole different energy into my life. And I just felt like doing the show and just being connected. I'm always going to be connected to it because I'm like the fate, you know, I'm one of the people that's, right. you know, well known on the show. But you know, just wanting to do other things. And sometimes you have to say, you know what, this is easy money. And this is, e you know, it, it's not always easy, but it's, you know, four months of your life and, and you do it because for me it's work, but I just want to focus on other things. So I said, it's time to go. And I made that decision and I'm still like, okay, you know, but I, I don't know. I just feel like great things are to come, you know, just from releasing that. Well, I was going to say, even though you did really like you, you, you know, we all go through those transitions in life, right? We all go through these flows and we move on to the next thing. It seems like you have a lot in front of you. Like we, we have so much to unpack mm -hmm. here. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, I, well, is, which is phenomenal. I mean, that that's called a woman with a plan and I love that, but you know, we were talking a little bit earlier about, you know, that you have been in the beauty space and I didn't realize this for 15 years. What is it about that that really got you involved in that and and um, for how long? Yeah, so it started, yeah, it started 15 years ago. And I just, I mean, social media has evolved and it's different now than 15 mm -hmm. years ago. I mean, we didn't have Instagram 15 years ago. I think we had Twitter maybe, or maybe not even, but, you know, just wanting to, do make good decisions just for myself, you know, as I got started getting older and, and really just trying out different things that I love to do. So I love weight training. Everybody doesn't love weight training mm. and just, you know, being passionate about that and seeing my body change and feeling good and realizing how, although it's not always easy when, when you are done with that workout, how a fulfilled and amazing you feel and um, and yeah, I started this 15 years ago. My daughter was talking the other day. She was like, I remember when you would always go to the gym and I, I was just always active and, and I, it, it, it generally makes me feel good inside and just mentally and, and more relaxed and stress-free. So, you know, it's, it's, it's helped me through the years of whatever crazy happens in your life. I've always just tried to, to stay focused throughout, you know, the 15 years. So it's, it's been good. That is really awesome. And, and like now that you're really kind of delving into it because you've, you've launched BX Glow, I believe in March, right? So BX Glow, we launched three years ago. So oh. that, yeah. So BX Glow, we, we launched three years ago and it's, it's so crazy because you never know when you're going to dive into something. 
how people are going to respond. And for whatever reason, the earrings that I wore on the show years ago in Miami were a thing. And I just always loved jewelry and loved earrings. I think it has a lot to do with, you know, being born and raised in New York and having mm -hmm. like kind of like that street vibe, being Puerto Rican. So it, we just always wore big earrings. And so um, I decided to, you know, start BX Glow and um, it's been doing great. It's a line of hoop earrings, jewelry, body jewelry. Um, then because that did well, then I ventured off into the you know, BX Glow Fitness, which is, I actually have some stuff here. I'll just show you really quick. Sure. So, and I ended up, so we, we, myself and my partner, we worked on this it, 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 a, a fitness glow. It was a box and this was before Corona. And in this box came these, you know, these uh, stretchy things. It's a little dirty because clearly I've used it. Um, <laughs> good sign, so, a good sign. <laughs> that's a great sign. I'm not just saying I use it, I actually do. Um, and in, in this fitness box, it had uh, ankle weights, the, um, the, the, the bands, and also these uh, stretchy bands that you can connect to your door and do arm workouts. So prior to pandemic, we had this all set and ready to go, but we didn't launch. So then COVID happens and people are working out at home. So I'm like, oh yeah, we need to launch this because literally you, I was even trying to find the eight pounds weight on Amazon and I couldn't oh, find you it. you couldn't find anything. I know it was crazy because people were like, what am I going to do? I need to work out. I need to do something at home. So we ended up launching this, which is great because everything comes in the box and all you have to do is you know, do the workout. But, there's also um, a really cute bag on there too. Yeah. So I was so going to say there's a, a duffel. Yeah. We have the duffel. It's adorable. So I love leopard. I love anything animal print. I mean, as you can see, <laughs> this is actually from good American. I love anything good American, but yes. Yeah, so I wanted, um, I wanted it to be, you know, this leopard print and it's great because if your clothes are wet, there's you know, uh, there's nice. this, like vinyl inside. So it's super cute and it's not like your typical, I mean, I just feel like it's girly and fun. <laughs> so I love that. So I always have this in the car with my water bottle, my bands, especially if I'm going to the gym, I like to bring my own stuff. So, so I mean, when it comes to the fitness space and, and isn't your daughter involved in fitness as well? My daughter is a Bikram yoga teacher. Yeah, I was gonna say, cause I, you know, in my 20s and in my 30s, I was a personal trainer. And my son, I used to bring him along with me to the gym all the time. You know, he was a yeah. little two-year-old at the time. Mm -hmm. And he was obsessed. And to this day, I mean, he's a string bean, but, you know, he's <laughs> obsessed with the gym. He loves going to the gym. To him, that's his vibe. I mean, do you feel like that was the same with your daughter? You know, I, she said, she so, well, interesting enough, her father, he's he used to be a bodybuilder and he was really into working out when I wasn't. Cause when we were together, I was very young. I had my daughter at 17 years old. So I was wow. thin. I didn't really, I didn't, I wasn't into fitness then, but he was. And then um, I ended up getting into fitness a little later on in life. So, you know, I feel like she just kind of gets it from the both of us, but my daughter is so we're so different. Like I love the gym, loud music, weights, crazy. She's more of like a little Buddha doll. So, you know, <laughs> just very <watching>. zen. <laughs> yeah. And it's, I, I think it's a good balance. So that's why we get along so well because she's so quiet and reserved and I'm not. So um, it works. And yeah, I mean, it was amazing. You know, that yoga teacher training, she would literally come home so emotional because they were training for a good five, six hours in these wow. heated rooms. And you're really tapped in all the time. So she would come home and she would be so emotional, but she's such a great yoga teacher. Her body is amazing. She's so flexible. I'm like, um, I need to make sure I can touch my toes. So she's it's, it's nice that I do the weights and I do the hot Pilates and stuff, but she makes sure I stretch and, you know, I do the things that I need to do, which is kind of cool. Cause you know, it's my daughter and you know, she's always here at the house. 
<laughs> and I mean, let's face it, it's always good to have a little bit of balance of everything. And, you know, the yeah. weight training is fantastic, but also having like something that's a little bit more um, yes. stretching and, and everything yeah. like that. That is yeah. really great. So, yeah. I mean, let's, let's talk more about what's going on on BX Glow because so you, is this before we move on to any of the other things that are on there with the fitness, I, I you've mentioned something about active beauty. Is that the name of the line? So active beauty is a line and I wish I had a sample of it here. So active beauty is these little like towelettes that I came up with. So, you know, how you're in the gym and you don't have time to shower, but let's say you're going to another appointment and you're like, oh my God, running. So it's, you know, it, it has exfoliate and it doesn't smell like anything. And it's just really these like little wipes that I came up with for you to like refresh yourself when you leave the gym, get in the car, go to your, you know, other appointment. So that's separately. The BX Glow Fitness is, is the, the stuff that I just showed you, the band. I actually and appreciate that because let me tell you, like, we need, you know, you don't want to be that person. Yeah. <laughs> you don't want to be that person that's going somewhere else and not having a chance to shower. But I mean, life happens, yeah. life happens. And you're like, yeah, but I got to run to the grocery store and get some milk real quick before I get home. Exactly. <laughs> but exactly. that, wow, that's a really great idea. I think that yeah, should be even a lot of the times I'm at the gym and then I'm running to, even if it's just to pick him up from school or mm -hmm. to the field, I still want to feel a little more refreshed because sometimes you're, you're hot and you're sweating. So it kind of just helps, helps you feel a little cleaner after the gym. So um, to be there, honest with you, I mean, in Florida, I could feel that way walking anywhere, you know, with the oh, humidity. I, <laughs> I mean, it's it. nice to have along all the time. Yeah. <laughs> I lived in Florida for five years. I lived in Miami. So trust me, I get it. Although, oh, my, yeah. although uh, I felt like my skin was always dewy and glowy. Mm -hmm. um, my hair. I always, always feel a little off once I go to California because when I go to California, it's so dry. I know when I go to Miami, when I tell you, I feel I was, I'm actually going in a couple of weeks, but I was there two months ago and I always feel so dewy and great and I love it. And although it feels sticky, it looks great. Looks you come great. to LA, you need lip balm and you know, you're a little dry and yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I totally get. It. And I mean, you're you're from New York. I, I'm actually from the South Shore of Long Island. So like, we've always been around water. You know, it's, right. we're always around some kind of humidity. So exactly. it's a little bit uh, weird when we we go someplace that's so dry. But so th the other things that you have, and then let's go back to the jewelry because I I think I, I was going through all the jewelry. First of all, the butterfly and the flowers. It is just so delicate and so beautiful. Um, I absolutely loved it. And I know that you are now kind of delving into more of the fine jewelry venue. Yeah. So tell me a little bit about that. So I'm um, so I did the butterflies and I did the hoops and I kind of kept revamping the hoops because I feel like most of us like a nice set of hoops. You know, some like them bigger than others. I like them big. But like even with the collection after that, this one, so these earrings, I don't know if you can really tell. So this is within the new collection. So it's just, it's a little simpler and, and it's it's more dainty, but it's super light. And so I wanted to come out with, because the hoops were like more dramatic, kind of like streetwear type thing. I wanted to come out with these, which were smaller. And then now I'm gonna do, I'm gonna launch the fine jewelry, which is amazing. So the price point's gonna be anywhere from 700 to 5,000. And I'm excited to see how that goes. Um, yeah, so it's gonna be, it's also gonna be hoops, but it's gonna be, you know, diamonds. I was gonna and, say, what did, I was gonna say, what was differentiating between the two? <laughs> I know, I know, we're actually adding real diamonds. There you go. <laughs> There so, you go. You know, it's fun. I, I'm, I'm excited to see BX Glow evolve. At, at the beginning, I wanted everything to be super affordable because everybody doesn't have $700 to spend on earrings. And that was my goal. You know, I want every girl, woman, teenager, because my, my, my following is so broad. I, it's from like 16 years old to like 65. So I want to be able to have something for everyone. And um, I was thinking, I want to do fine jewelry. So uh, we're in the process of designing some pieces and kind of seeing how it goes. 
So what, where do you get your inspiration for this? Where, where do you bring like, cause I know that you have, you definitely have a certain taste and a certain style uh, where I honestly feel like now that I've seen it, like I would know oh, oh, that that's Evelyn's. <laughs> right. You know, I think uh, growing up in New York, being a New York girl uh, mm. and growing up in a, in a very Latin household molded me to to you know going to school in Manhattan in the city and you know being around different cultures and different people and trying different food listening to different music I always say it was it wasn't easy growing up in New York but I can't even imagine who I would be mm -hmm. if I grew up somewhere else because I miss it so much my mother posted something the other day it was like Puerto Rican day and and usually we have this huge uh, um, parade on Fifth Avenue, but due to COVID, they canceled it. And she mm. sent me videos, and there were these parties at the beach, and I was like, "Oh my God, I miss that that vibe and the music and everything." So, you know, I will definitely say it has all to do with me being born in Brooklyn, raised in the Bronx. <laughs> so, do you, so both lines will still be available to to the consumer to buy. So it could be it, yes. it won't like you're dropping the original and and just going with the fine. Yes, everything is still available on bexplode.com. So you will see everything, even the fitness, everything's um, on there. So as the, you know, line continues to evolve, I'm not ending, you know, because, you know, I still have people that are excited about the the, the first launch and, and are still purchasing. So um, I'm happy about that. So we're just going to continue adding and see how it goes. <laughs> no, it's, it's, it's absolutely adorable. And I love it. And so... Now the other the other part of your website is also where you have a skincare line, um, and I was looking at it, and you have a hydro cream, an eye cream, exfoliator, and daily cleanser. Can you kind of break down what it is about this that makes it unique to anything else? Yeah. So when I started, so I went through this peer. So what inspired me to do this, the the skincare line was, I ended up having inflammation. And I had no idea where it was coming from. I went from working out twice a day to not being able to move. And for me, it was so scary because it, it wasn't necessarily something that I was eating. Then the doctor said, you know, maybe it's something you're putting on your skin. I had no idea what was happening. So then I said to myself, how about if it is a product that I'm using and I have no idea what it is. If you look in my bathroom, I have a lot of products. So what could it be? But I remember thinking, wonder if it's my skincare. And then the whole CBD craze, and 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 when I when I went through those issues that I wasn't feeling well, CBD helped me so much. I was taking CBD drops, and it just helped my. I felt like I had arthritis in my whole body. It was insane. Wow. I never. I'm like, I have a newfound respect for for my mother who has RA and and you know uh, patients that have. You know, arthritis it's it hurts so much but that's what really inspired that line and it's super clean and it's all natural I, I said in another interview you can literally eat it eat it it's not going to do anything to you but there's cbd in the eye cream and in the moisturizer and uh the exfoliant is is super gentle and um, it doesn't smell like anything and um yeah it's just great as soon as you use the exfoliant it's great on your skin and your skin is glowing and it feels great so the CBD, because I was noticing that was a big call out on the website and 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 as one of the main or a featured ingredient. So exactly topically, what is the benefit of that? So for the eye cream for puffiness, the CBD is great for like you know how you get puffy eyes. So that's why I only uh, we only added the CBD and the eye cream and then the moisturizer. Obviously in the cleanser you're washing it off, so it doesn't really make sense. But for me. You know, as you get a little older, you know, you mm. wake up in the morning, you're a little puffy and um, it's worth great. It's a, it's a little portion. Um, they could probably send you some just to try. But um, yeah, so it's just really good for puffiness, fine lines. Is there like a certain skin type that should be looking for this or is this like very it's like for kind all. of all yeah, skin types? Yes, it's for everybody. All skin types can use it. So, you know, that's the other, you know, great thing about it. That is really, really cool. I, you know, and it's, it's really funny. I'm looking at all the things that you have going on. I'm kind of curious, what is your hope, you know, from here, you know, where is the, the, the ground that you want to break in beauty? Like, what is the things that you really want to expand into in the future? You know what? I really want to expand 
probably hair. I really want to do some, I don't know why I have it. And I love hair products. I just, I take care of my, I mean, if I flip the camera, you can see my, my, my hair dryer, my steam dryer. Cause you know, especially growing, like I said, growing up in New York, going to the hair salon mm -hmm. every week was very important for us. So um, I, I would think hair care, something in the hair care uh, world would, would be great. That is really awesome. So what are your, your top beauty products that you cannot live without? Like these are things that everybody should be having in their, in their bathroom. I'm like, let me look around. So yeah. I was thinking about Start grabbing earlier. everything. <laughs> I literally, so, and it, it, I love this vitamin C, which I'm sure you probably saw it's by skin Cuticles, but vitamin C on your skin is amazing. So mm. I'm 45 years old. So I make sure that I put this on twice a day. The, um, so literally every single day in the morning. Yeah. So do you do that like before you put on your makeup and then later in the day, you know, you just kind of it just right on top of the makeup? I so I struggle morning, with this because I always ask, really? like I always forget to ask people because you know, like, you know, we're on camera, we have to wear makeup and everything like that. And then I go, should I be putting some more on? <laughs> All I did today is put like a tip, but do you see how it's like a little shiny? This this vitamin C, every morning I put it, so I, I, I take a shower or if I'm just like washing my face or rushing out the door, I'll put a few drops of this on and then I let my skin um, absorb the product. And then this right here, you're going to thank me for this. Oh. I don't know. I, they need to listen. They need to give me a, a, an endorsement because when I tell you this right here is Skin Medica TNC Advanced serum and so when you pump it out it's literally like it's a cream and a serum but Ooh. as soon as you know how you wash your face and it feels so dry and you're like oh my god I need to put something on so I put that on first and then I put this on amazing I never I never leave home without this I travel with this if I'm in the sun my neck I put this all over the place so these two, and yes, I do put it on before makeup. And I feel like if I'm putting a little tinted moisturizer on, which is something else I can't live without, I'm, every day I don't want to wear foundation. I don't know about you, but I don't, you know? I don't want to. It just always seems like I have to. <laughs> right, because you're on camera a lot. Mm, yeah, yeah, I get that. So when I'm not on camera, if I'm filming, I'm, I have the makeup artist put makeup on, but one of my, where is it? One of, uh, I love, um, where is it? Let me, I just had it today. Hold on, I'm going to find it. So this is my other product that I have been using for years. What is it's this? the Laura this is, Mercier. Oh, Laura Mercier. This is like, I have been using, I have put so many people onto this. I'm like, you guys have to try because it gives you enough coverage, but it's still light and there's SPF and you, I can go to the baseball field with this on my face and not feel like I'm, you know, have a full face of makeup on. So I'm always looking that. for a good tinted moisturizer that has an SPF too. Cause yes. it seems like a lot of them don't, I thought all of them did. No, no I no. not all of them do. It's very disappointing. No, I, yeah. I want to say the tin, I want to say the SPF in this one is a uh, 25. So wow, that's really good. This is for sure. Let me know what there you think you when you get it. I think you'll like I, it. I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it because yeah, I'm always exactly. looking for I'm something with good. You, I'm telling you, I mean, it has been a good 15 years that I have been, and they changed the packaging, but literally I'm like, oh, did they sell out of it? But no, this is for sure one of my like- Look at me, I'm actually writing it down here, Lee. <laughs> write it down, take your notes. Listen, <laughs> this too, I'm telling you, write Skin Medica TNC Advanced serum look at the glow on the skin i'm telling you it's this that is so <laughs> nice and so not nice. because this is just olaplex but i love olaplex i i'm gonna flip my camera in a second so you guys can see my shower but <laughs> this i never leave home without it mm, that's my favorite <laughs> one of my do you know what it's also my favorite from olaplex aside from the shampoo and conditioner with which i love the oil Yes. Oh, 
great yeah. shine, great heat protection. It, it just, yeah. Everything. I travel to Miami. I, if I'm going in the pool or if I'm going in the, in, in the ocean, in the beach, I always wet my hair first in the shower. And then I put some of the hair oil on and then I tie my hair up. So it's in there doing its thing. But then, you know, I have highlights in my hair. So my hair is not getting dry. And so I love the hair oil, super obsessed with that. So that was a good thing that when they came out with that. Um, is that five? I don't know, but that was a good amount. <laughs> can, I, can I talk about this too? <laughs> sure, absolutely. You talk about whatever you want. Sorry, this has hair on it, but so because I have so much hair, it's oh, did one of my lights go out? Um, I use this. I don't even know how to pronounce this. Cosmale, Cosmalehi. Anyway, the point is, is this to detangle your hair? It's so good because it does not rip your hair out, and I have nice. a lot of it. So every time I wash my hair in the shower, I detangle my hair with this. So this is a must-have, and I have it in trial size that I take it with me everywhere I go to. <laughs> That's always a plus when, the, when you're able to travel with it, because sometimes they, they're just too clumpy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I think those are like my, my top fives uh, for sure for skin, hair and hair. <laughs> so, so outside, I mean, obviously you are, you're working out, you know, which I think is great. And, and I'm trying to get back into the routine myself now that everything's opening up. I'm like, Back yeah. to gym. <laughs> lift the weights. <laughs> Cause like you said, when, when, when COVID hit, like the, trying to buy stuff on Amazon, it was like non-existent. Oh. So you're like lifting furniture. I don't, I don't know. I know. Right? So, <laughs> so but, funny. um, but you know, aside from that and, and, um, obviously your fantastic skincare and hair care, what other things that you do? Cause I mean, a lot of people look at you, you were such a beauty icon, um, on yeah. top of all the other things that you do, what things outside of like your daily routine that you feel like I have to do this like once every few months, like, is it like a treatment or a skincare or something? Yeah. So aside from my daily training and my regimens, um, something else I should have talked about was the collagen that I put in my coffee every morning, which is amazing. Ooh. But the, do you drink, are you a coffee drinker? I'm a huge coffee drinker. <laughs> so Dose and, Com and trust me, I'm not getting a check for this. Dose and company, the collagen creamer is so amazing. There's one that is um, dairy free and there's one that has probably a little dairy, but I love to have my coffee in the morning and put the collagen in because then I know I got my dose of collagen for the and day. And it doesn't so taste I, bad? It does. To me, it doesn't taste bad. I don't need my coffee. Everybody's different because I know I have friends that need their coffee super sweet or, you know, they need the vanilla creamer. I'm not that girl. I just want the smell of the coffee, the coffee and the creamer. It doesn't taste bad to me. It tastes fine, mm. actually. But um, I highly recommend that. You know, I'm like an obsessed of, coffee drinker and I, you know, aside from Starbucks and all that other stuff, you know, like big time creamers. I had a little foamer, you know, for my, <laughs> like all this stuff, but like in the, you know, that COVID-19 pounds that I picked up in the past year, you know, I'm trying to like yeah. <laughs> move on from that. So I literally cut out dairy. So now I'm drinking coffee black. Mm -hmm. Never did that my whole life. Wow. Whole drinking life. Like black. So if you want to add a little creamer to it, maybe try the Dosen Company and it's dairy free. So it's just I mainly collagen. That. But I gain weight during, I mean, I'm, a, I'm 160 pounds. This is the heaviest I've ever been aside from being pregnant. And you know what? I'm like, I feel good. I don't care. I'm, you know, like. I, I think it's very funny because I, I am probably the heaviest I've been in a while, but I'm, I'm okay with it. I think for me, it's literally about feeling good. And like, yeah. I want it for the rest of my life to like, good. just have fun, you know, yeah. and, and really feel good in my body. I, it's not that, you know, back in our twenties, we're always like, you want to be this like hot little thing. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah. But now I'm like older. Yeah. Now you get a little older and you're like, you know what? It's okay to have a little pooch. It's okay, okay. to have cellulite every, I mean, you know, and quite I, frankly, I, it's I, beautiful. Thank you. Yeah, I've had stuff <laughs> like all my life. I don't care, you know. So, you know, I, I think sometimes we're so hard on ourselves, and then when you get older, you realize, you know what? There's so much more to to 
to, you know, being happy and loving yourself aside from just the exterior, right? So, you know, you asked me a question and I think that for me, I, I just try to find things to do for myself, you know? So aside from the working out, it could be, you know, meditating, um, Deepak uh, Chopra, and, and I hope I'm not killing his name, and Alicia Keys has, they have this 21 day meditation. And I just do that sometimes in the morning to kind of just before my day starts, just to, you know, get in like a, a positive zone. I, I do things like that, that I could do. It's simple, you're in your house. Um, I think I, a couple years ago, I did the Deep Shock uh, Chopra and Oprah Winfrey had one. Oh yeah. I, the, the hard part is I could turn off my brain. <laughs> I, know. I had such a hard time. It took several times doing it just to be able to slow you down. That's um, when you know there's an issue. <laughs> this is what I'm saying. It's like, for me, my daughter, my daughter can do it, but no problem, but I'm always go, 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 go. But sometimes before you open your phone and get on social media or whatever, the emails and, and text messages, I try to do that first. If I can, I have a son, so it's, it's, it depends on what's mm -hmm. going on in his life. But I think, you know, for me, it's just really finding the time to take care of yourself, whatever that is, even if it's just sitting in the car and listening to music, you know, it, it, I, I try to kind of, I work through his crazy schedule, but I do try to find time for myself. So, you know, working out massages, whether it's a facial every two, three months, just something for you, even just getting your nails. What's done your favorite kind of facial? So stay, so I go to this facialist here. Her name is uh, Roberta. It's called, her place is like E-Face. I hope I'm not killing it, but she does this like diamond facial. And I don't heard about that. How is yeah, it? Yeah, it's amazing. Like literally my skin comes out, like just feeling so great. And um, yesterday I texted her about the molds on my back. <laughs> I was like, I'm getting the um, old lady molds. Like, um, can we take that off? <laughs> what is that? What is that? I'm I don't like, know, but it's like, uh, what, where are these things coming from? <laughs> yeah, no, seriously. Like, I'm like, and you know who brought it to my attention? My son. He goes, well, isn't that the worst? <laughs> girl, Danielle, he goes, um, are you, we were going to a, a kid birthday party, actually royalties, a uh, little birthday party. And he's like, are you going to um, not cover your back? Because you have a lot of molds. I'm like, what? And I'm thinking, I don't really look at my back like that. I wash it with the brush, but I don't look at it per se. So then the other day I looked and I was like, wow, there's really a lot of molds. So it's struggle. amazing what our kids say. I think my, my son one time uh, said to me, mommy, I love how your face has all those pretty lines in it now. I mean, at least he thought it was pretty. <laughs> at least he thought it was pretty. I'm like, thank you. Thank you very much. You're like, thanks, kid. Thanks. Your skin, your skin looks amazing. I have beautiful lighting. I have beautiful lighting. I, no. I'm constantly thinking, I really should get Botox. I really should get, you know, something because it, it yeah. Have you no, done Botox? I did once like about, God, four years ago. The, the thing that I realized is that I can be very lazy. <laughs> yeah, it's I can be very lazy and it is a consistency thing. And and yeah. now like four years later and I'm going, mm, I'm, I'm thinking about it because it it's not so much that I, I have too much of a problem. Um, I just like, um, it would have to be light. Let's put it that way. Yeah, well, you know, like that. And I have my dad's German lips that by the time he was 86, he had a line. He had no lips. Mine are slowly disappearing. So one day we're going to come out here and you're going to see Danielle has lips again. Listen, crazy. I have, just I have the best contact for that. And just so you know, here, if you ever come to LA, she's, she, I, I, she's never done anything to mine, but she did it. She did a little bit to, to my daughter and all of her friends so naturally done. And it, it doesn't look like, you know, like fate, uh, it's, it's tastefully done. So whenever you're ready to do it, let me know. I'll have to jump over to LA soon. I, but at this rate, you're going to have a whole bunch of people going, um, Evelyn, you got to tell us your secret person I know, <laughs> after right? this I airs. Know. I know. <laughs>
<laughs> exactly. Her name is Roberta. <laughs> Roberta, Roberta, Roberta in LA. Yes. Yes. So I, I feel like I would be remiss if I didn't um, touch on your foundation at least a little bit. I would love to hear a little bit about it. Yeah. So um, a couple of years ago, I started, which I'm happy now that I have the time to focus on my foundation and put that energy that I really want to put into it. You know, filming takes a lot of my energy. My foundation is called EvelynLozadaFoundation.org. And I'm a domestic violence survivor. And I started this years ago, just really wanting to help women and sometimes men navigate, you know, a, a, a Sometimes you just don't know how to begin. How do I get out of this relationship? How do I heal? What do I do? Where do I go? So I have people that work on the foundation. If you contact them, if you are in an abusive relationship, everything is, you know, uh, private. And um, we just try to help with just trying to help you figure out how to get out of that situation. Because a lot of the times they're scared. They don't know who to talk to. Um, they feel they don't want to have judgment from their families. So, you know, we just try to help with that and, and um, shelter. And yeah, so that's my foundation. And I'm excited. Eventually, um, we're going to work on raising money to be able to to um, help women with attorney fees, a child care. So we're doing that now that I have more time because all these last couple of years, we've partnered up with uh, other organizations that were more on the forefront and have donated and done partnered up with them to, to help as many victims as we we could. So that's my that's my number one. That's my number one goal here. <laughs> that's fantastic. I mean, 2021 sounds like it's going to be like your breakout year. I mean, you've already had a big breakout, but I'm saying like it, it's, what great things are on the horizon for you. And I'm really excited you. for you. I'm, I'm excited too. I'm excited for, I, I, I see things slowly coming in and opening up and things, you know, it's it, one of the things that I've learned is you really need to utilize the relationships around you, which I feel mm -hmm. like I wasn't because I was on the show and I was so focused on this, but now that I've had a time to breathe and say, okay, these are the things that I want to do. It's important. I feel like God positions people in your life for a reason and it's okay to say, hey, I need help with this. Can you help me or ask questions? And I'm, I'm excited because I have some other things in the works. So, you know, hopefully by October we can put it out. So it's I'm so fascinating. You said that I literally had three conversations in the past week with women that were saying that they had a hard time asking for help or, yeah. you know, really utilizing those people around them. That could really be a great help to move things forward and not to take right. advantage, but to, right. you know, be, be, I mean, um, an assistance. Yeah. And I think it's okay to, I, I don't think we were meant to be on this planet to figure it out on your own. So that's why you have family and you have friends and I get it. Sometimes family's not always great. Sometimes friends, but you know, you, you need to surround yourself and, and, and find those people that, you know, you can learn from. And I mean, I know that takes learning because when you're in your twenties, you're like, oh, I want, you want to hang out with everybody. But as you get older, you realize, you know what, having three amazing friends is way better than having a clique of girlfriends. And it's oh, yeah. okay to ask for help. Nobody has the answers to everything, you know? No, but yeah, yeah, but it's good to be able to finally understand that that's what this, you know, community of women, I, and I find as the years go on, it just seems to be even better and better. Yes, uh, we are. I don't involved. know what it is that's going on generationally, but I love it. I'm, I'm here for it. <laughs> Me too. Me too. I'm like all about the women empowerment. I'm like, yes, yes. And that's why with my foundation, if, you know, my, my, my incident happened many years ago, but it took me like 10 years to be able to talk about my experience without being emotional and crying. And now I feel strong and, and like a little warrior. So, you know, I, I want women to feel the same way too. And, and, and you can get there. It takes time. Everybody, everybody's on their own journey and yeah. people heal differently. And, and just because I mean, it took me a long time. So, um, you know, just to, just to show love and, and, and inspire is really what I feel like those experience, like what I'm supposed to do be based off of the things that have happened in my life. So, yeah. Well, 
Thank you so much for coming on here today. And, and yeah. I love that you shared all of this great stuff about your career and where you're going and all the wonderful products that you have going out there. Thank you so much. I love Olaplex. I love you guys. Let me show you something. This is the real Sure. Deal. I was laughing at myself because I said, if only, if only they saw the, hold on, let me flip this. Uh, <laughs> how do I flip this? But look at this. The look at oh yes, it's important to keep it upside down. <laughs> who does this? But literally, I was in the shower today, so I mean, obviously, I can't put any more products in here. But yeah, I was laughing at that right there. <laughs> oh my god, I'm like, I love oh it! God, I, I love it. Get every drop out. <laughs> That's what I do. I keep everything upside down in my in my shower. That's right. <laughs> Just That's make sure right. I get every drop, every drop. I know. Well, thank all right, you. thank thank you, Evelyn.